lastly, it is accountability. So we've hit some of this as we've been going through. So it's each week checking and assessing your progress. Are you doing what you can? You need to be honest with yourself. If you know you've had hiccups, like we said, you've not failed, just kind of write it down and find reasons why and learn from it and change it and go again the next week, okay? But you can't change everything every single week because then you're not gonna know what works. So take your time, give yourself four weeks. Is it working, is it not? Okay, well, I'll give myself more steps this week or I'll give myself a little bit more calories this week because I've never hit my target, I'm always overeating, then that's okay. Have yourself more calories, be more consistent, rather than putting too much pressure on yourself to do too much at once. Same with training, if you know you're not gonna get six sessions a week, you don't need to do that much, then tailor it down to three, hit your three, and if you get an extra one, that is a bonus, and you're gonna feel good, you're gonna feel accomplished, rather than being too hard on yourself and feeling like a failure. Ways to track your progress is through scales. So you can track your body weight once a week in the morning, track your body weight, see where it's at, but your body weight's always gonna be up and down like a yo-yo, so take it with a pinch of salt and think about how you're feeling before you weigh yourself. Another way you could do it is track your body daily, body weight daily, and see how it changes throughout the week. But again, I think that creates a really bad relationship with the scales and I would just completely avoid them. What I would recommend going for is centimetres, so tracking your bicep, tracking around your waist, tracking around the hips and your thigh. So get the measurements down in centimetres, do them every other week, maybe every week, every two weeks, every three weeks and see how much the centimetres change because if your centimetres are going down, your clothes are going to fit better. So another thing you can track is your clothes. So you can see if you've got a dress that you want to wear for a Christmas night out, then keep trying it on every now and again and see if it feels looser and better on you. Because if it feels looser and better, then you have toned up, you've maybe lost some body fat and you're maybe, maybe fitter. But if you're just going by body weight all the time and it's not changing, you are going to get yourself upset. You are going to feel demotivated. So try and use some positive ways of tracking progress. Another way you can do it, are you getting stronger in the gym? Are you pushing the weights up? If it's yes, 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 then you are getting stronger, you are burning more energy, and you will be toning up. So you need to just make sure you're tracking your weights as well and trying to get stronger. Another way of doing it is progress photos. So not, not everybody likes taking their photos, but sometimes it can be a huge motivator. So if you take a photo of yourself and you hate it, and you maybe just feel horrible and horrendous, use that as motivation to keep working forward. But I do always say to the girls, if you aren't happy with your body just now, you never are going to ever be happy. So you need to find something that you do love about your body and start finding little positives about getting fitter, about getting healthier, rather than kind of always putting yourself down and seeing the gym as a negative place to go. Okay, so there's a lot of things to think about mindset wise, training wise, nutrition wise, goal wise, a lot going on, but just try and take it step by step deep breaths and not putting too much pressure on yourself to change everything in one night. Another way to be accountable is that you could use someone like me, a personal trainer, a coach, someone to just make sure you're doing what you can do and tell you when you need to step it up and tell you sometimes when you're being too hard on yourself. So next female fitness program starts on the 8th of October, 10 weeks. You get verbal feedback from me every single week to tell you where you're at and how, how you are progressing or if we need to just kind of take a step back and readjust your goals. So that is starting. If you do feel you need that kind of person to keep you accountable I could be there or any other coach everybody's here to try and help you and sometimes you just need someone to answer to to keep you in check lastly consistency is key <laughs> if you can't do from here if you can't do any of that then there's no point. You need to reevaluate, start again, and find what works for you. Same with training, same with food. If you can't stick to it, you're not gonna be consistent and you're not gonna get to where you want to be. So you need to find something that you can keep doing. You can keep showing up. You can keep doing the little daily things because consistency pays off massively. You can't have one good week, go downhill the week after, and then go, oh, why have I not changed? You've not been consistent. You need to be consistent day to day. And if you can't be, you need to change what you're doing because it's unrealistic. All right, hope that has helped. Try to keep it as simple as I possibly could. 
any questions, pop them below and I'm happy to help. All right. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody, and I'll speak to you all very soon.